Hello, this program is Fifth Element and I am Oksana Sidaruk. Unfortunately, traumatism is a part of our life. Often, after the trauma, a person cannot back to his usual life and sometimes become an invalid. Also, because of inborn orthopedic defect, a person couldn't feel happy and don't know about help with the problem. I hope our guest will answer on all questions. Vitaly Veklich is a professional orthopedic surgeon. In 1979, Dr. Veklich graduated Winnes Medical Institute and in Specialty of Pediatric Surgery and received a PhD degree. Since 1992, he is a leading surgeon of Ladistan Clinic, specialized in orthopedy and traumatology with Elizarov's method. Dear Vitaly, I am happy that we have possibility to talk with you about actual subjects. Good day. Good day. First of all, I like to tell our audience that you specialize in help people who have problems with legs. And also, traumatology is not only the specialty you have. Please tell our audience about all kind of orthopedic problems you could help with. Our clinic is specialized in trauma and orthopedic pathology. Children and Adult Trauma and Orthopedic Pathology. There is any clinic in the world which could uh, treat orthopedic problems for people all ages. Usually children and adults have treatment in different clinics, not the same. Because of my experience in treatment and my special technique, I could help children and adults with traumatic and orthopedic problems. Trauma and orthopedy? As for me, I understand. A trauma be happened because of car accident or another reason of bone fractures. It is okay for me. But how you could help in orthopedy and what kind of defect you could correct with your special techniques? The technique was created by Professor Elizarov more than 50 years ago for results of orthopedic defects. In years after the technical announcement, Elizarov started to use it for acute injury. So mainly, technica was created for resolving of orthopedic defects. Usually, technica is used in inborn defects like PFFD, legs contraction, short persons, and others. There are many children with uh, diagnosis Hondroplasia, or in other words, dwarf kids. When these kids become teenagers, they feel inferiority complex and needs to have treatment. Nowadays, we started to treat children with such problems when they are three years old. So, after treatment, when children are ready to go to school, uh, there is any less disproportion. Regarding leg deformities, we have pictures of patients as before and after the treatment, and please comment them. These are very actual problems, and a lot of people in the world suffer from it. There are bow legs genuvarum and knock knees genuvalgum. These problems are not only orthopedic, but also social because of emotional discomfort. People need to wear long dresses to hide legs. I want to tell that after treatment people get new life for them and their legs, the new social life. Corrections of legs deformities is more important for women because they are not able to wear a short skirt and show their knees and legs. Also, it is a problem of men. As I know, the rate of legs curvature may be different, almost visible and much visible. So do you help in any cases? Yes, I help in any cases. And what technique could help with problems of both legs and knock knees? I use different techniques for resolving inborn defects and cosmetic defects. If the rate of curvature is very, very large, it needs several stages of treatment. Regarding usual cases, I perform only one surgery to correct deformity, and the surgery lasts only a short time, 40 minutes. 
Do person will have straight legs after the correction surgery? Yes, it has. Do women and men pathology are same? Yes, they are same. How usually men ask you about correcting bow legs or knock knees? Men also consult me about their problem, but not so often like women. You tell us about short person. How you could help them? Long and beautiful legs are always high fashion. I see it is not problem for you to make person taller. Really it is possible, but it also needs time. Half a year or eight months to make a person taller for six, seven centimeters. Is resolving of this problem is important for people? Yes, for some people it's important, for somebody it uh, is not. If talk about orthopedic legs correction, it is something I understand with, but about height increasing, it sounds fantastic for me. I understand about your own technique for both legs and knock knees correction, but so what is technique do you use to make a person taller? The technique was created by Professor Irizarov, but nowadays there are not many orthopedic surgeons that can use it professionally. The surgery have cosmetic nature, so the qualification and experience of the orthopedic surgeon have to be very high to give a patient guarantees about success of the treatment. So the surgeon have to have high grounding in general surgery and orthopedics, because the mistake is impossible in such kind of surgeries. How many centimeters a person will be higher after the treatment? After the first stage, a person will be 6-7 centimeters taller, and after the second stage, 11-12. What age is better for lime lengthening treatment? As much younger person, as better result is possible. Is an age is a guarantee of a good result? Yes, the younger person, the shorter period of treatment. The functionality of joints and muscles are rehabilitated better in younger age, the same as with fractures. Bone fracture of kid is grown together in two weeks, and if person is older or aged, uh, they grow together in four or five months or in a year. Do you have any limitation regarding patient age? Regarding bow legs or knock knees correction? There is any limitation in deformities correction about patient's age. As for lime lengthening and height increasing, it is better if person younger than 50 years old. Do you meet some special orthopedic cases that people almost lose hope to resolve? Yes, I do. Could you tell us about rare orthopedic diagnosis? The legs curvature is possible not only in cosmetic reasons, but also from blown disease and phosphate diabetes. These diseases are genetic problems. In these cases, the deformations are very, very large. So, for me, it needs uh, two, three stages of the treatment to resolve the problem. We want to show these cases to our audience, as they say, better one time to look to understand a problem. This is phosphate diabetes or renal osteodystrophy. So legs pathology is a result of renal pathology. Phosphorus and calcium disappear from a person's bones and legs get deformity or curvature. Thanks to Lizarov technique, it is possible to treat children with uh, phosphate diabetes and get a successful results. To treat the reason of phosphate diabetes is impossible because it is inborn renal pathology. The only way to treat a child with phosphate diabetes is orthopedic surgery. <laughs>